Move in and take them out. Only in Black Ops 2 do you get killed by an inanimate object off of your streak from the orbital VSAT. I mean, leave it up to an exploding car that doesn't shoot back at you to kill you when nobody else can in the lobby. That was the perfect time to rage quit. But anyways, in case you might have forgotten what you're watching, this is Black Ops 2 TDM game here on the map Yemen. And I'm OGCP Da Silva. Thank you for watching this video and commentary today. But anyways, like I said before, this phone needs to stop ringing. But um, I have been posting Call of Duty and not GTA 5 because I don't have GTA 5. But it is a treat to see these GTA 5 videos away from Black Ops 2 because it's a reminder that there are other games besides Black Ops 2 out there. There are other titles besides Call of Duty. And seeing these other games and the varieties really um, opens you up to a whole new different world because you don't have to worry about target finders. You don't have to worry about shotguns, snipers, people lying in the back, prone, campers. You know, you don't have to worry about any of that in these other games and it seems like I have been only playing Black Ops 2 just because I've been posting Black Ops 2 but that is definitely not the case because the only time I play Black Ops 2 nowadays is for my you pick I play series because I enjoy doing those and just getting gameplay as is the case right now but other than that I've been playing Mass Effect 2 and I've been playing Fable 3 some of these games are just awesome RPGs and you don't have to worry about bad connections and you know target finders etc that I've mentioned before and you don't rage in these games as you do in Call of Duty but don't get me wrong even though I'm bashing Call of Duty um, as a whole I do love this franchise and there's a reason why I play it but as of right now I'm just burnt out with Call of Duty and as we know, it just has started diminishing ever since Modern Warfare 3. So unless they do something drastic or something that really, you know, takes us by surprise in Call of Duty Ghosts, I really see Call of Duty just diminishing as a franchise and I see a lot more uh, of the other titles such as Battlefield and, you know, other um, titles such as Titanfall that's going to be coming up to really take the place of Call of Duty here on YouTube. but. You know, unless, you know, like I said before, Call of Duty does something really drastic that really catches us by surprise and brings us right back to the series that we know and love, um, it's dying. And I hate to say that because a lot of people speak about uh, the death of Call of Duty and all that, so I don't want to get into that, but I just wanted to explain to you guys really quickly what I think um, is going to be happening if Call of Duty doesn't get its act together. But anyways. What games have you been playing besides Black Ops 2 or Call of Duty? Um, if you have been playing GTA 5, then let me know what you enjoy about that game. I don't have GTA 5, I haven't played any of the Grand Theft Autos. Um, I'm not going to, but I do enjoy watching some of the videos in my sub boxes. Um, especially when you guys um, make videos that are just very goofy, you know, doing voiceovers for the guy that you're playing and running over people and punching them for no apparent reason at all. I find that very hilarious and doing these missions, you know, sometimes can be very, um, very funny to watch because you guys fail at them and uh, sometimes you, you succeed and it impresses me. But other than that, you know, just watching variety, something that isn't Call of Duty in my sub boxes. 
uh, in my sub boxes. Um, in my sub box um, is definitely something that um, really opens me up to a variety of different games and it should to a lot of you guys if you have been noticing that trend here on YouTube. But anyways, can't wait till Battlefield 4 comes out. I think that's the first game um, that's not Call of Duty that's going to be big on YouTube and I know a lot of people are going to be playing that and I haven't played um, much of Battlefield at all so I'm gonna be quite a nub or noob whatever you want to call it what do people call it nowadays you know just scrubs there's so many terms for a bad player that we have nowadays it's crazy but I'm gonna be one of those in Battlefield 4 so um, if any of my subs play Battlefield or have any experience in that especially if you're good um, let's play that whenever I'm able to get it and you know teach me the ropes teach me how to play that game uh, I want to be good at it and I'm going to be posting that when I get a chance so um, yeah definitely going to be looking forward to that and hoping that I'm going to be good and it's not going to be something that is going to be a little too difficult for me to learn even though I have been playing um, Call of Duty that's not the only FPS I've been playing of course I do play Halo 4 um, here and there as well so um, you know that has a higher learning curve as well and takes a little bit more skill but you know, I don't know how the learning curve really relates to any of those games in Battlefield. So yeah, you're just going to have to let me know how it works, what I'm going to be looking forward to and how I should approach the game. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. This is OGCP Da Silva and I am signing off.